So Dr. Eberlin, when you spoke in Seattle last night, you, uh, uh, you discussed the appendix and diarrhea. And it was the first time that that subject had been broached at an intelligent design event, as far as I know. Can you tell us what you had to say on that subject? Oh yes, it is really nice to discover that appendix has a function, isn't it? Uh, we were uh, told for centuries that we had some useless organs that were just there waiting for the evolution to get rid of them, and appendix was one of them. And, but uh, as science goes on, we are more and more discovering those, that those useless organs, they have actually essential functions. And one of these organs that we discover essential fun functions is the appendix. We thought about uh, an useless organ, but it's really, really clever uh, part of our body. Because when we consume some bad food, we are sometimes stupid enough to do it, right? <laughs> We, we try some new foods or eventually we get some bad food and, and then there's this need for washing. So uh, diarrhea comes to help and it's really nice. I, I used to say that diarrhea is a blessing actually because it, uh, it washes this problem away. Uh, jet washing, it's really efficient. <laughs> But uh, when you get diarrhea, there is a problem associated with this. Uh, you get also rid of the microorganisms mm -hmm. that are in your interst intestines. Mm -hmm. And this is really bad because those microorganisms that are there are essential also for life. Mm -hmm. So what was the solution? Appendix, it's a... Uh, 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 reservoir of beneficial bacteria so the diarrhea washes everything but the microorganisms which are hiding there at the appendix look at this it's, it's really nice <laughs> and, and and people would say okay but we also have appendicides mm -hmm. right and uh, I, I talk in my book about that. I also cite the reference. Yeah. There was an, uh, a study that was just, has been just published. And this a researcher was looking for the um, cases of uh, appendicides throughout the whole world. And he discovered that in the third world countries, appendicides is not a problem at all. It's really rare. But uh, uh, you go to modern societies, uh, developed countries, and appendicides becomes more and more common. Mm -hmm. So it's, it's our fault. We're doing something wrong. <laughs> we have uh, develop, developed some new habits that are triggering appendicides. So uh, the more diarrhea you have, the better. <laughs> 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 Yeah, because you have the appendix, appendix there to help you. So, so what, are, what, what are we doing wrong in the first world? Uh, I, uh, people don't know actually, but perhaps we are taking too much care of everything that we eat. Mm -hmm. So it's really uh, hard to get diarrhea. Mm -hmm. But in the past, it was much more common. So the appendix was really needed. Yeah. So, and I also have a joke about these appendicides. What was the solution of, for the appendicides? Oh, let there be surgeons. <laughs> so, <laughs> we have surgeons to help us yeah. with our uh, wrong habits that we develop. Mm -hmm. and, and also the appendix, uh, they have found out that it also helps on the moon system. It has at least two important functions. The moon? Oh, the immune. Immune. Immune, okay. immune system, yeah. yeah. So, how come that we have a useless organ? Forget about that. It's yeah. fake in news. It's yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> actually, if you look at the intelligent design perspective, perspective, um, everything that we, we have in our body must have a function. And the more we study, the more functions we find. Mm-hmm.